Hi YouTube, yesterday, April 7th, 2014, Raspberry Pi announced the new Compute Module and Compute Module I.O. Uh, I've just put down a Raspberry Pi Model B here just so you can see the size comparison. Uh, even though I don't actually have a module, uh, Compute Module yet, this uh, was only announced yesterday and so I've just uh, gone and printed it out so that we could have a quick chat about it and see exactly what's been announced and uh, and learn a little bit about it. So the first thing to mention is this is the compute module. And you can see here this chip would be the same as this chip. These are the uh, Broadcom CPUs that are the main driving horsepower of the Raspberry Pi. Now along with it there's a 4 gigabyte module here and that 4 gigabyte flash would be very similar to one of these which we normally just pop into the Pi but now they've integrated it all into this one slice. So this module, I'm just going to move it over here, this module itself you'll see is shaped a lot like a piece of RAM. Now it's not RAM and it's not going to go in your computer's RAM slot. That's just the shape of it because that is a convenient input to put on a board. It helps keep the cost down. This is really big news but it's not big news on its own. It doesn't really do anything on its own. What we need is this. This is the Compute Module I.O. And the I.O. is a custom board printed out just for the Compute Module. If I take my paper, this would slot in here and clip down. And there you'd have it. Now, there's still lots to learn here. First is it's only got one USB. It's got an HDMI and of course it's got its power in. This board doesn't have a network, no Ethernet. So it's a lot more comparable to the Raspberry Pi Model A. Look at all those GPIO pins. So you can see that there's a design choice that's been made here so that this can be as extensible as possible. The amazing part about this, the reason I think that it's really big news, is that this module can be replaced. The Compute I.O. board doesn't have to be the Compute I.O. board that you see here. In fact, we could design our own Compute Module I.O. to do exactly what we want. So, if you think of some of the other projects that I've done, well, maybe I would build one that had a Wi-Fi module in it. And mine would probably have two USBs. Uh, a speaker is important for some of the projects I'm doing. Um, mine might also have a Bluetooth. So you can see that changing the layout of the board allows me to use the same Raspberry Pi CPU power that I've enjoyed in my other projects, but I'm able to make a board that's specifically tailored to my project's needs. That's big news. What's even bigger news is we can invent a board that's got three or four slots on it to insert more Raspberry Pis and increase the computing power. What else we can do is, if we were to stay with this one compute I.O. board, if in the future a new compute module comes out with say more power, a more powerful uh, Broadcom chip or a larger flash, we can always remove this and replace it with a new one. So that means our base project module, I.O., can remain the same while swapping out and upgrading the chips. Now, of course, as you know, they're printed out. I don't have one, and the bad news that's come out of Raspberry Pi is you need to buy a hundred of these at once. They're going to cost 30 bucks, but 30 times 100 means that we need an outlay of $3,000 to get our hands on one. Now, of course, there's a donate section at the bottom of this page. I encourage you to check it out. If you'd like to donate 3,000 bucks, hey, I'll raffle off a bunch of them afterwards. Probably less than 100, but probably more than 90. If you'd like to do it, it's below. You can, of course, now donate with Bitcoin. Please subscribe to my videos, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Check out my other Raspberry Pi projects. Thanks for watching.